everyone, my name is Cecily, and I'm assuming that if you clicked on this video, you are either moving to a new country, or you're about to move to a new country, or you're already in the country and you want a little, you want to know a little bit more about how to meet new people in the country that you're living in. Kind of like I'll talk a little bit about the language barrier. So for me, if you've never seen any of my previous videos, you don't know that I recently moved to Paris and it has been approximately two and a half weeks since I've been here. I am living here as an au pair and also as a student. I'm studying French and so far my experiences have been living up to the expectation I know a lot of people when they have something big planned like moving somewhere new or starting a new sport, I don't know, a new activity in their lives, a new chapter, they have kind of this expectation of what it's going to be like and what it should be like and so far I think that moving to Paris and my experiences here have lived up to that expectation. I mean, I didn't know exactly what to expect because I've never lived in France before. I've visited, but I've never lived here. So I just came in with a positive attitude and I hope for the best, you know? I just kind of rolled with it. But I'm gonna be talking a little bit today about how to meet new people in the new country that you're living in or somewhere new if you move to a new city a new neighborhood a new town blah 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 new country you know what i mean you get the you get the gist so i knew that i was going to move to france about a couple months ago so before moving here my number one thing that i did was look up this is the, the number one tip. If you do not use Facebook, I looked up social groups in Paris. So, if you know you're gonna be moving somewhere new and you know you're not gonna have family or friends that already live there, I really, really, really recommend going on to different Facebook groups. And there's, face, there's so many different Facebook groups out there, trust me. Um, if you're into basketball, you can look up a basketball group. For example, if you're moving to, don't know, Amsterdam and you like basketball, you can look that up on Facebook, basketball group in Amsterdam. And usually people are on there to meet other new people. So you guys are in the same situation. You're going to find a group specifically for what you're looking for. Um, for me, in my case, since I was an au pair, there was already loads of Facebook groups for all pairs that would be living in Paris or surrounding areas of Paris. And the amount of messages that you can receive and friends that you can make through those groups is absolutely incredible and I had never seen anything like that before. And it's like before I moved to Paris, I was talking to one of my friends that I made through one of the groups and I told her, you know, back home, I would have never, I would have never messaged a random stranger on Facebook and be like, do you want to meet up for coffee? You know, when you don't really have any other options, when you move to a new country, you kind of open your mind a bit more and you start to consider other options. You don't limit yourself as much because you kind of have to put yourself out there if you want to meet new people. Yeah. On to advice number two or tip number two using the language barrier to your advantage is a very very good idea i really came here to france like 50 percent of the reason that i came to france was to learn the language for me it was to experience the culture learn the language and be able to travel there's many many different apps that you can look up in the app store the google play app store the itunes store depending on what phone you have i can link all the ones uh, that i'm going to be talking about down below so hello talk i think is a really good one the language exchange apps is really good to use if you're going to be moving to a new country where you want to learn the language and i can 
guaranteed that there's going to be someone who speaks who wants to learn to speak your native language. Not only will you be able to improve your language skills, but you'll also be able to help someone else out and you can gain a friendship friendship through that. And it's an amazing experience to be able to talk to someone and then they can help you with the language you're trying to learn, but at the same time you're you know, connecting with someone and you're gaining a relationship. My third tip is to Genuinely, just put yourself out there. I decided to put myself out there and go to a festival, a music festival, and um, go to a music festival that was completely in French. I am, I would say I'm at an A2 level of French, maybe a low B1, so I can talk to people, I can understand most of what they're saying, but just putting yourself out there and going to events that you wouldn't really necessarily feel the most comfortable at, like parties that you know everyone there is going to be French, and parties and um, festivals, for example, like concerts, music, music events, uh, open mic nights, things like that. You get to experience what the locals experience and you can find these events, like I said before, on Facebook. There's also other apps such as the Meetup app. I'll also link that down below if you want to check that out. The Meetup app allows you to see events that are happening around your area. Do not be shy. Do not be embarrassed to try to speak to other people in the language you're trying to learn or the language of the native people if you're trying to make friends with the locals. So yeah, those are my three tips on how to meet new people in a new country. Know that moving to a new country can be very, very, very intimidating, especially when you don't speak the language fluently and you can't necessarily understand everything. But I would say that if you don't make the most out of the experience in the future, you're definitely gonna regret it because there's so many amazing people out there and you never know who you can meet and what kind of experiences you'll be able to experience. For me, it's an amazing accomplishment knowing that I knew absolutely nobody in this country and now I have people that I feel like I've known for so long. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this type of video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Mwah. Goodbye.